Almost two million children have parents serving in the U.S. military. For many, that means holidays, such as Easter, are spent without mom or dad. As you know, deployments know no holidays. For 30 years, the military has recognized April as the month of the military child, a time to honor, support, and thank the kids who too sacrifice. We had the chance to visit Fort Belvoir in Virginia. There are about 4,500 children who live on that base, and some of them let us tag along on an Easter egg hunt. Military families, along with millions of others, are rolling in Easter this holiday weekend. But for so many of these families, they roll with much more than that. It can be difficult, but for our family, we pack up and hit the road. Difficult because it could be the last before an upcoming deployment, but also because this could be the final holiday for so many at Fort Belvoir in Virginia. We've been to Fort Sam, you know, San Antonio, Fort Sam Houston. We were in St. Louis. Uh, we've been here in Georgia, and our next move is Pennsylvania. Then after that, we don't know. It's no secret, between deployments, military families are still on the move. The average child of a service member will pick up and move between six to nine times during school years. That's three times more than kids who don't have a parent who serves, meaning a constant cycle of new schools, new doctors, and sometimes even new cultures. These three siblings spent two years in Korea. It was scary sometimes because the other people didn't speak your language, so it was hard like, to communicate with them sometimes. There are almost two million children of U.S. military members, which is why there's such a desire to spread awareness. April is the month of the military child. Celebrated for more than 30 years, it's the military's way of recognizing the sacrifices these children make and thanking them, whether it be through an Easter egg hunt offered on a base, or schools and communities lending a helping hand to military children. They do have to move a lot, but they have to make friends, new friends everywhere they go. So there's a certain, you know, because they have to leave friends behind, and there's always that, uh, the transitions. The largest group of these nomadic kids are younger than five years old. And while the struggles are many, these children are as brave as the parents who raised them. I certainly like it a lot that he is in the military, and I like to know that my dad's doing something for our country, you know. He, I love him so much. Well, what's so great about the month of the military child, as, as you heard in that piece, that it's, it's about 30 years old now, but it's sort of spreading uh, across communities. So, for example, uh, kids get recognition in school, communities offer free programs, so it's, it's really spreading, and it, it's great for these kids. Moving six to nine times during your adolescent years is unbelievable. You know, it's incredible what they go through, and finally now to really be getting some uh, support that they deserve and need.